Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Rise or Fall to talk about Thursday Night Football, AFC West Showdown, the Los Angeles Chargers, take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Boy, oh boy, is this one going to be good. Buckle up, meet me right back here. Hello, and we are back. Thanks again for being here. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Thursday Night Football. Kansas City heads to L.A. to take on the Chargers at SoFi Stadium, and, and realistically, this one is for the divisional lead in the AFC West. Kansas City, they're 9-4 and four right now. They are in first place. They're looking good, kind of righting some wrongs here. And the Chargers, 8-5, and five, right behind Kansas City uh, in the rankings here. They're looking good without some of their, their normal everyday wide receivers. I don't think Keenan Allen played last weekend. Mike Williams did okay, but it was all about Jalen Guyton. It was all about Austin Eckler, who was injured. And now, last I looked, Austin Eckler is active tonight, so let's get into it. But before we do that, uh, just make sure you go to Team Rise or Fall, like, share, subscribe, and you know the deal, right? These vi I do these videos, seems like almost every day, and they're, you love them. They're, they're taken well, so for that, I appreciate all the love and the support. But make sure you go to Team Rise or Fall, like, share, and subscribe. And if you use, right now, promo code NBA, you can see the graphics, all of uh, of Santa Mitch and then the wonder of Christmas, the 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 garland, the tinsel, the trees. Use promo code NBA and you'll get 33% off your first month of premium services. How can you not like that? It's like, right, we're, we're, we're like a week away, less than 10 days away from Christmas. What better, you know, gift to give yourself than a premium membership here at Team Rise or Fall? I'm sure you're buying the heck out of presents for your wife, your husbands, your kids, your co-workers. What about you? What do you deserve? Huh? You deserve a nice, good premium membership to a DFS format, and why not Team Riser Fall? All right, enough with the fun and fooling around. Let's talk about this game here, and this one is going to be a doozy, right? How many times uh, have we gotten together here, Thursday night, Sunday night, even Monday night, and it's like, ah, man, Cleveland's playing the Jets again, or the Bears are playing the Lions. Ah, what are we going to do? This one Heck yeah. Kansas City goes to L.A., as I said in this one. As it stands right now, over-under is at 52 total points. You'll love to see that. We think there's going to be a ton of yardage and touchdown passes and all that to go around in this one. And you'd be right in thinking that. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Pat Mahomes, Kansas City at the Chargers. Chargers are sixth overall against opposing quarterbacks. Does that matter when it's Patrick Mahomes? Has Pat Mahomes found his mojo again? Had a couple off weeks, actually three or four in a row if you want to dig deep, but as it stands now, Patrick Mahomes is back in the saddle. Seventeen grand on FanDuel, $12,000 on DraftKings, and if you want Pat Mahomes in a captain spot on DraftKings, $18,000. That is, holy smokes, that is a lot of money here. But you know what you're going to get uh, with Patrick Mahomes. I'm looking at 26, 27 uh, completions here, 290 yards. Personally, I think uh, Patrick Mahomes' is floor is, is, is what, two, 280, something along those lines. Uh, four carries, you're looking at 25 or 35 yards, and several touchdowns. I think Patrick Mahomes is responsible for anywhere between three and four touchdowns, whether they're in the air, whether he gets them with his legs on the ground here. So, again, Patrick Mahomes very much in play. Let me mention Justin Herbert, and then I have a little uh, a little plan here. It just hit me as I was thinking and, and talking to you here. Justin Herbert against Kansas City. That's a sweet play. Kansas City's 27th overall against opposing quarterbacks. Herbs, 16-5 on FanDuel, only $10,800 on DraftKings. And if you want uh, Herbs in your captain spot on FanDuel, 16000 whoops, 16200 bucks. Almost an identical stat line to Patrick Mahomes, 27. 28 completions, that's a little high, but hey, Thursday Night Football, it's a week before Christmas. Let's have a little fun, right? Herbs, looking at, again, 290 total passing yards. I would not be shocked to see both Herbert and Patrick Mahomes get over 300 passing yards. To be honest with you, I think that's a foregone conclusion. couple carries, 25 or 35 yards here, so... What I was going to say is maybe I'll edit this out and I'll just I'll use this clip uh, around social media today because it's not buried, but it's it's in a weird spot in the broadcast here. When we look at this game, right, as I said, Kansas City at the Chargers, it's like, what's that cartoon? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? I think it's uh, 
the, the bear who ate all the, the picnic baskets, Yogi Bear. Yeah, which way did he go? We have so many options here tonight where it's like it's kind of overwhelming. We have to, you know, if you're going to multi-entry GPPs, then, yeah, have at it. You can, you know, try any combo you want. But if you're going to stick with what, two, maybe three lineups, we have to dial them in. So one would be with Herbs at the captain spot. Then one would be with Patrick Mahomes at the captain spot. And then what do we do with all the positional players? If you look at the DVP matchups and how the opposing defense handles you know, the the, uh, the offensive skill positions here, you're going to want the Kansas City tight ends, Kansas City running backs, Herbert, and then you mix and match maybe Guyton and Palmer here. So that's the way I'm going. Uh, oddly placed in the video. I'm sorry, it just it hit me as I was you know getting into the opening of the video and I didn't want to you know leave it till end of the video I might have forgot about it and that, that's not cool here so let's talk about the running backs Clyde Edwards Hilaire uh, back with a vengeance if I might say so myself uh, at the Chargers they're 20 Chargers are 27th overall against opposing running backs here CEH, you're looking at uh, 11 grand on FanDuel, 7 grand on DraftKings. And if you want Clyde Edwards in a captain spot on FanDuel, you're looking at about 10,500 bucks here. I have Clyde, 12, 13 carries, 55, 60 yards here, couple four. I said couple four, maybe three or four receptions for another 20 or 25 yards in this one. To me, uh, Daryl Williams, to me, I said that and it had no, no, nothing behind it here. To me, Daryl Williams is a nice pivot, but again, in this one here, I'm trying not to get cute with two powerhouse offenses that are running in this one. So why, I know, Daryl Williams, 9-5 on FanDuel, only $3,200 on DraftKings. You're looking at six or seven carries. I know he caught a, a nice little touchdown pass last week, but this isn't the time uh, to kind of save salary and get cute. This game is just chocked full of high price studs, and you have to get it right. And I'm here to tell you, if you want to fade D-Will, that's fine. If you need a little salary relief, uh, that's fine too. I'm going to put all my eggs in the Austin Eckler basket. Kansas City 17th overall against opposing running backs here. Uh, Austin Eck 14 grand on FanDuel, ten thousand two hundred dollars on DraftKings. If you want Eckler in your MVP spot, he'll cost you fifteen thousand three hundred dollars here. For Eckler, you're looking at 14, 15 carries, sixty probably 70 yards, something along those lines, and then six or maybe seven receptions. I know that's a ton, but hey. Again, week before Christmas, let's have a little bit of fun here with a, an, an additional 45 or 50 yards here. Justin Jackson, Josh Kelly, not even on the map. If Eckler is healthy and playing here, I would expect they, they don't see much. Maybe they can split five or six carries between them. Not enough for me to kind of move the needle uh, for this game here. When we talk about the wide receivers, you'll see, obviously, I have my notes. And obviously, I've already taken a picture of them. I do the notes to share to you and also as kind of a script for the video here. So as you can see, uh, Tyree Kill is highlighted here. He's, it's, it's unbelievable. Tyree Kill at the Chargers. Chargers are, let me, I can't even read my own handwriting. They're second overall against opposing wide receivers here. Tyree Kill, 13000 bucks on FanDuel, $11,400 on DraftKings, and just over seventeen grand uh, if you want Tyree Kill in a captain spot here. 11 or 12 targets, 7, 8 receptions, 95, 100 yards is already a foregone conclusion, and a touchdown reception. To me, it's, yeah, 100 yards, done deal. A touchdown pass or touchdown reception done deal. It's how many more yards is he going to tack on after we get to 100? How many more touchdowns is he going to score after that first initial one here? And then we go down here. McCall Hardman, Byron Pringle, Demarcus Robinson. Not really, none of them are, are on my radar here, given the fact that we can pivot to Guyton, Guyton or, or Palmer here. Let's talk about Keenan Allen briefly. 12 grand on FanDuel, $9,400 on DraftKings. Uh, Keenan Allen, $14,100 in a captain spot if that's the way you want to go. Kansas City, uh, as it stands now, they're eighth overall against opposing wide receivers. But uh, th their defense, their secondary, I should say, has been very good as of late. They're buzzing around. Sorensen's finally getting it together. The team isn't throwing, going. Remember that game where I believe uh, Tyron Matthew was just, he got burned. Uh, but Sorensen got burned by some guy and. and Tyron Matthews in the in, sitting there like this, like, what are we going to do? They've gotten it figured out. They've gotten it tightened up. And to me, uh, I'd prefer Keenan Allen over any of the other uh, Kansas City wide receivers. So if you look at Keenan Allen, 10, 11 targets, almost the same as Tyreek Hill here, seven, eight receptions, 85, 90 yards, and a touchdown reception. I look at Tyreek Hill. 
and uh, Keenan Allen the same when it comes to this game here. You're looking at double-digit targets. You're looking at seven, eight receptions. And to me, it's about 100 yards and a touchdown uh, reception is a given for both of these players. Again, it's going to be how much more do they go over 100 yards? How many touchdowns do they score here after that first one? And then we go down. Mike Williams, he's got a questionable tag here. And look, let me tell you, Mike Williams, 11-5. On FanDuel, $7,400 on DraftKings. Just too rich for my blood, given the emergence of Jalen Guyton or the rookie Josh Palmer here. So to me, I'm fully fading Mike Williams. If it comes back to bite me, sure, I'm taking some other swings elsewhere in this game here. Jalen Guyton, 9000 bucks on FanDuel, only $4,800 on DraftKings. And then Josh Palmer, 7500 bucks on FanDuel, $2,200 on DraftKings. Now, of the two, I would prefer Guyton. You're looking at four targets, three receptions, 40, maybe 50 yards. And I do firmly believe Guyton puts together another good game where you're looking at a 30 40 yard touchdown reception here so to me it's all about Tyreek Hill Keenan Allen and Jalen Guyton when we talk about the tight ends it's the same thing uh, Travis Kelsey Chargers they're not good that's the, the Chargers do a lot of things good but they don't defend opposing tight ends well they're 28th overall here. So Travis Kelsey, 12-5 on FanDuel, $8,600 on DraftKings. And if you want Kelsey in the captain spot, you're looking at $12,900 here. Kelsey, 9-10 targets, 6-7 receptions, 75-80 yards, and a touchdown reception. Blake Bell, Noah Gray, not even on my radar. Salary relief, no, they're $200 on DraftKings, but you're looking at for what? One or two targets or other directions we can go here uh, this evening. When we look at the the, the Chargers uh, tight here. Jared Cook, Donald Parham Jr. Both guys have questionable tags, but I was just told moments ago I got an earbud in that Jared Cook has no injury designation heading into tonight's game here. So Cook, $7,500 on FanDuel, only $5,400 on DraftKings. You're looking at four or five targets. That's been the norm. I know five is a little, you know, a little ambitious, a little high here, but I think Cook can do it in a game where I expect Herbert and Mahomes to attempt 35 plus passes in this one. So Cook, to me, four or five targets, three receptions, 35 yards, and is there a touchdown reception in Cook's future? Uh, shake your magic eight ball and it would say, uh, yeah, he will score a touchdown pass. And when we look at the kickers, uh, Harrison Butker, Dustin Hopkins, uh, nothing crazy here. This is one of those, this isn't some some nasty, wild, off-the-radar kind of Thursday night football game like Chicago and, and Detroit or Cleveland and the Jets, right? There's no need uh, to play any of the kickers. I guess, in a way, salary relief because Butker's four grand on uh, DraftKings, Hopkins is $3,800 on DraftKings, but to me, it's it would just be about extra points. You know, Butker four for four, uh, Dustin Hopkins three for three. Something. So you're looking at the kickers just accumulating one point at a time. I'm all set. I can go another route here. And in terms of the DSTs, uh, I, I'm not going to bother here because I'll tell you right now my final score here. And look, I have these props here, and I, I'll tell you this here. So when you look at this one, Kansas City or the Chargers, it's always nice to have props in a video, right? This hat is my late father's. This thing is, it's old. It's We're talking like late 80s, early 90s. I won't even show you the inside of this thing. It's it's bad news. Should probably be uh, thrown in the trash or, uh, you know, donated to Salvation Army here. But of these two teams, it's a tough decision here. But I think Kansas City wins this one, 34 to 28. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to the wire, and I could see a case where you know Herbert and the Chargers and Coach Staley, you know, it's the last possession and they turn it over on downs or something like that. So give me the Chiefs, 34 to 28. You love to see it. Hey, Dad, thanks for the hat, and we move on. Before I split, make sure you go to Team Riser Fall, like, share, and subscribe, and use promo code NBA. You'll get 33% off your first month of premium services here at Team. Team Riser Fall. I can't think of a better uh, Christmas present to give yourself than the Team Riser Fall Premium Membership. Thanks for being here, and until we meet, uh, well, let's meet again this time uh, for Sunday Night Football. Until then, enjoy the weekend, and uh, treat everybody with love and respect. It's Christmas. You know, tis the season, right? Until Sunday. I'll see you.